Hello everyone, welcome to Sardinia. Behind me you can see the Gulf of Cunana in the northeast of the island, a beautiful place, and also the Marina Cala dei Sardi. Now this is a fantastic marina, the greenest marina in Italy, and it's the home base of NSS Charter, leading charter company in Italy. Uh, they make available the boats we use for our videos, and so this has, is our favorite spot to shoot our videos. For this episode, I have with me my young colleague, Chiara. Hi, Gabriel. Chiara Anzilotti, and together we will talk about how to find a place and anchor for the night. Yes. Right? Okay. Uh, before you go, you have some technical information for us. I viewers. have some technical information. I wanted to remind you to subscribe to SVN Network for free. You will have available all the technical articles, the online magazine, and all the information you need to know for the new upcoming videos. Good, very good. So, yes, click on the link on the description and do subscribe to SVN Network. Having that said that, uh, shall we go and talk about how to find a place for yeah, anchoring? Yeah, we should go. Okay, let's go. After the long navigation of today, it's time to choose a bay for the night. So Gabriel, what bay were you thinking? Uh, well, I looked at a few things and I was thinking of going down there, if that's okay. Oh, down there, but exposed to the wind. Why yes. down there? Yes, that's a very good question, Chiara. It is exposed to the wind now, but we're choosing the bay for the night. So when you do that, you have to think of what's going to happen. And I looked at the weather cast and uh, what happens is that the wind is coming from the northeast but as it often happens in this part of Sardinia it will shift to the northwest in that yes. case we will be protected uh, from the wind and from the waves by the coast mm. so that is okay uh, for the night and I suppose that's not the only thing that we are looking in the bay. So what absolutely. are the other things? Absolutely. Okay. Those are uh, shelter is the first thing we consider. We look at the charts. We look at the weather cast to find a sheltered bay. Uh, then other thing. Well, first of all, uh, the bottom. Not all bottom is good. Sand or soft mud is very good. It's the best thing you should look for. Uh, alternatively, rock is not very good, but sometimes you have no choice. So if uh, the wind is not strong, you can still uh, anchor on rocks, especially small rocks. If it's uh, bigger rocks, you can have a greater chance of the anchor being stuck, and that can be a, a big problem. Yeah, of, of course. course. Uh, what you want to avoid is uh, generally grass or Posidonia, uh, because that's not a good holder at all. So do not anchor on, on Posidonia. I okay. suppose the anchor was lit. Yes, yes, absolutely. Let's say you're on your own. Uh, we looked at the type of bottom, we looked at it's a sheltered bay. What else would you worry about? I would worry about the depth. You're absolutely right. We would worry about the depth. We know we have to let out at least three to four times uh, the depth in terms of chain. Uh, actually, it's a rule of thumb. In Italy, they say three to five. In England, it will say four to six. Perhaps they have stronger winds. Anyways, let's say four. So if the conditions are right, uh, four times the depth, that means if the depth is 20 meters, uh, then you have to have at least 80 meters of chain. Yeah. Uh, and if uh, you cannot get closer to the coast, then that's what if you do. And if you don't have 80 meters of chain, you have to find another spot. Of course. Okay. Uh, one other thing is uh, the way uh, the bottom slopes, uh, because uh, that's not very common, but sometimes you can have the, the, the bottom sloping gently and then there's a drop. And then the drop, the, uh, the anchor was lit the anchor will slide if it's close to the drop and you don't know it then perhaps it will slide a couple of meters suddenly goes uh, over the drop and then you're out at sea again drift away yes in the sleep you're sleeping yes. you're, why so, are you sleeping not good okay uh what else we said shelter we said depth uh one other thing uh, other boats other okay. boats uh, now in this case uh, the bay is not crowded at all we have like uh, four or five big boats but that's about it uh, so no problem there we can choose a spot we want a nice sandy spot and lower our anchor and the depth is uh, seven meters right now so it's okay perfect uh, however in ice season some bays tend to get 
overcrowded? Yes. Some bays can be crowded uh, in Italy uh, in, in the high season. That's still not a problem. Uh, what you have to do is make sure you have room to turn the boat if the wind shifts without colliding with another boat. Now, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we assume if the boats are all pointing one way, that will be the wind. Yes, of yes. course. So we will do the same thing. Direct our boat towards the stern of a boat, anchor, say, 20 meters. So uh, this way, even if the road we let out, the chain, is not exactly the same, and uh, the way we turn is not exactly the same, we won't collide with the boat. Of course, okay? yes. Okay. And also, uh, uh, we don't have we have to let out uh, enough chain but also not too much uh, why because if we let out uh, uh, say uh, 60 meters of chain in a shallow bay then uh, we will having a uh, turn around uh, in a very uh, large uh, circle and then for sure we're we will hit somebody something. so if it's a crowded bay that's what you have to do having said that uh, why don't we go and find a nice spot I think it's a good idea. Okay, so. what I was thinking is uh, I could go to the bow and lower the anchor and you could take the wheel and do what I tell you, if that's yes, right? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you Chiara and I will go. Okay, so I came forward to take care of the anchor and Chiara is steering. Uh, we decided to uh, anchor on the stern of that boat which happens to be our support boat and uh, uh, we have to find a nice sandy spot before we have a remote ready and we have also securely latched this to the lifeline that's very important because the wind can blow it over and then it can amputate your foot you don't want that so that's very important okay so we're moving towards the stern but we also have to find a sandy spot. As you can see, you have dark spots, that's grass, and you can have light spots, those are sand. So uh, I'm gonna direct uh, Chiara. Everybody can have their signals. Important you have to agree on signals with your, uh, uh, the man or the woman at the helm because uh, you're not sure she's gonna hear you over the wind. And now in this case, I'm gonna tell Chiara to go left, okay. I think I found a nice spot over there. And as soon as we're over this spot of grass, I'm going to tell Chiara to stop the boat and this way I'll be able to lower the anchor. A few meters and that will be fine. Okay, that's actually good. Okay, firma, stop the boat. And I start lowering the anchor. So the anchor is on the bottom. We've let out a few extra meters. And now I'm telling Chiara to back up. And as she backs up, I'm gonna lower the anchor, make sure she uh, is let out uh, nice and straight. Okay, and one important thing, uh, if it's not, make sure your road is coated. In this case, we have colors every 10 meters. That's very important. Otherwise, it's very difficult to decide how much anchor you have let out. Uh, so in this case, I know I've let out uh, 30 meters. There's about uh, eight meters of depth. So that's uh, perfectly all right. And now you can see the anchor is in tension. Now I'm just gonna ask Chiara to give a burst of back. Uh, this way we'll know the anchor is holding. Back. Perfect, neutral. Okay, as you can see, the boat didn't move. That means the anchor is holding, even though if we were in reverse. And so that's fine, we have anchored our boat. Good job, Gabriel. So now I suppose that we're done. Yeah, uh, almost, and good oh. job steering, by the way. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're almost done because there's something else I would like to do uh, since we're staying the night. And that is remove the detention off the chain. And yes. so there's a trick that many people know, but maybe not everybody, that we can use to do that. I'm going to put the remote back. Uh, I prefer not to give it to other people while I'm working on the chain. I guess it's for safety reasons. Yeah, you can always make a mistake. You know, it's better. What I'm going to do is take this rope and tie a knot to the chain. Of course, you can slip it through the ring, but this one is too big, so no big deal. What we're going to do is simply tie a knot. Now. Knots may be difficult to remember 
uh, the names at least. This is a clove hitch in English. I suppose that in Italian it will be a nodo parlato. Exactly, nodo parlato. I think that's okay. Okay, so what does this do? Uh, it's actually easier to show than to tell, so I'm let's gonna see, show. Let's see, let's yeah. see. I suppose now you need to secure the line. Absolutely. We do what is called an oxo in uh, English, nodo di galoccia, galoccia in Italian. Exactly. And just lower some, some more. So I can see that the tension of the chain is released and now it's on the line. Exactly. So no tension on the chain, no tension on the windlass. Now, it's not like the windlass is going to break anytime soon. It will prevent it, probably. Well, in the long run, you could have like cracks in the fiberglass that would require work. So in this case, no. So it's best to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, you also sleep uh, maybe less noise while you sleep. Perfect. What is this new thing you wanted to show me? Okay, it's not a big deal because it's not very often that it happens. But sometimes you can have the wind coming from one direction, but the waves not coming from the direction of the wind, which is the normality. So in this case, say the wind is coming from over there, but the waves are coming from that direction. Uh, what will happen is that at, at night, the boat will be rocking back and forth. It's not, uh, not pleasant. Not pleasant, okay. So what can we do to avoid that? Well, we want the boat facing the waves, not facing course, the wind. Of course. To do that, we have to rotate the boat, and we can do it with something we can call the Y, because that's the shape it will eventually make. Okay. So, uh, for simplicity, I'm using this line we had already attached to the chain. Yeah, yeah. Except it's not long enough. It should be at least one and a half the length of the boat. Uh, so, what we did was we prepared this other line uh, and just pass, uh, uh, tie them together with a bowline or whatever. I think the bowling is best in this case. And what I'm going to ask you to do yeah. is take the whole thing, go to the stern. Uh, this should go outside the shroud, of course. Okay. Uh, outside everything and around the cleat back to the winch. Okay. okay, and then I will activate the winch. When I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower the anchor and you're going to uh, tighten the line until the the chain and the line will form an angle and there you have your Y. Okay, and perfect. as magic, the boat will turn and, and will be facing it. that direction. Okay, thank you. So let's proceed. Okay, go ahead. You can drop this because it's hopefully tied. Yes, it is. So as Chiara does this, I'm just going to get ready to lower the anchor. <laughs> get the remote. So, uh, yes, Chiara is passing the line. She doesn't have enough line actually to get to the winch, but that's okay because I'm going to start lowering a bit of anchor. Okay, and now I can see she's passing the line around the winch. Chiara, start pulling. So as the rope is tightened, we can see this Y that is formed by the line and the chain and the rest of the chain going outwards. And it has come out of the water. And so we are pulling on the boat from two sides. So in this case, what happens is the boat turns and it's facing uh, the direction of the, the Y. And as you can see, the wind is coming from the, the, that direction. So we are no, no longer facing windward. We're facing that direction, which in the scenario we imagine is where the waves are coming from. This way, uh, the boat will be against the waves and it won't be rocking like this back and forth. And perhaps we'll sleep better. Thank you, Gabriel, for showing me this new technique. Okay, I'm it's glad you really liked useful. it. It's really useful. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's one way to solve this problem if you do have it. Yes. So, uh, well, that's about it. We're sort of done, actually. Believe oh, it or finally. Not. <laughs> this time, really. <laughs> really done. And uh, I want to thank our viewers for watching this. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let us know by clicking on like. I want to thank our sponsor, NSS Charter and Marina Calde Sardi. They were such great hosts. They gave us uh, this boat and the support boat that made this video possible. So thank you, NSS Charter. And uh, if you like this video, if you want to know more, click on the link in the description, the link to the technical video, where uh, you have a fuller explanation of uh, the things we talked about. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I want to thank Chiara for being such a great help. 
Thank you, thank, Chiara. Thank you, Gabriel. It's okay. been a, a pleasure to film this video. Okay, and that's it. I'm Gabriel Pools. This is SVN Network. <laughs>